Hello everyone and you're welcome. In our last lesson, we saw how we could plot the Canadian election results using the GeoJSON file and we loaded that information from the plot the uh, GitHub page. Right. So this time around, let's go ahead and see how we can plot coordinates. So let's say, for instance, we have these countries and we have their capital. And most importantly, we have this longitude and latitude. How can we convert this to a point system and then use that in Plotly to create a choropleth map? So let's go ahead and jump in and see how we could do that. So basically, we're trying to plot a data frame from the longitude and latitude coordinates. So let's go ahead and begin. So I'll get rid of the header and I'll make a few imports here. So I'm going to import matplotlib and I'm also going to import matplotlib .pyplot as plt and we're also going to import geopandas as gpd and we're going to import plotly dot express as px and let's just run this uh, cell to make sure everything is uh, kind of running smoothly so the next thing i'm going to do is just load our uh, path to our uh, countries.csv file so i'll just say a path i'll just say countries underscore path is going to be equal to a uh, raw string and I'll pass in the path for that file so it's in C oops I'll just put this in between so it's in my users slash the name of my uh, system and the name of the file dot CSV and we'll run that now a quick way to also do this if i go back to uh, the location of where this uh, file is and i press the windows r key i could just drag this and drop the path it's going to show me the path through that file and once i have that path i can just go ahead and paste that path uh, just like that in between a set of codes to be a, a kind of like a string and you can even read this directly so uh, that's just by the by the way so let's go ahead and create a data frame so i'll just say my df equals and i'm going to import pandas import pandas as pd and also run that so my data frame line is going to be pd dot read underscore csv and we'll pass in that countries oops and you'll see countries underscore path this makes it much more cleaner as i don't have to pass in all this uh, information there and if you quickly want to see our data frame we could just run that and we can see our data frame which means everything is uh, fine so right now what we're going to do is to use uh, geopandas dot points underscore from xy method to convert these data frames to uh, longitude and latitude points so to do that let's just go ahead down here and i'll just say uh your pandas to convert and lat to points so that's what i'm going to do right now so i'll just say df underscore geo which is an object uh just created to have a reference to our geo pandas file i'm just going to say gpd dot geo data frame so i'm going to be creating a geo data frame and i'll pass in my data frame and then i also need to pass in the geometry so the geometry all right that wasn't so hard is going to be equal to our geo pandas dot points underscore from underscore x y basically this means points from a two-dimensional coordinate system so i'll just uh, drop that down and i'll just pass my df dot longitude and comma df dot latitude so let's just go ahead and run that cell and let's just go ahead and quickly check our data frame 
So we're going to just run df underscore geo and you can see we have these, uh, we have a new section called geometry, a new column called geometry that has two points and we have these points taking from our uh, data frame, which is uh, quite nice. So with this, we can actually go ahead and plot this information. So first we're going to get the built in world uh, data set. So let's just say I get built in data set from so geopandas has a very nice built-in data set and we're going to use that so I'm going to call that world underscore data and it's going to be equal to my geopandas dot read underscore file and I'm just going to get the geopandas gpd dot data sets dot get path And what I'm just going to get is the natural earth low res. So I'm just going to natural earth underscore low res. Just like that. So now we've gotten that path. What we need to do is to actually plot our world level map. So plot. Let's just say plot world map with uh, the same information. So what I'm going to do is to set the continent to Africa because these are kind of like West African countries. We have five West African countries. So to do that, I'll first create an axis. So I'm just gonna call that axis. And now that I have this axis, I'm just gonna say uh, world underscore data, which is the object we just created right now. I'm gonna pass this like a uh, column so I'm just going to see world underscore data dot continent. So I'm just kind of filtering our continent using our data frame. I'm going to pass this to uh, Africa dot plot. So now that I have that set, let's just go ahead and set this value right here. So I'm going to set the uh, color. I was going to say, uh, let's do a light blue and the edge color for our map. So I'm just going to say edge color. I'm going to set the edge color to, uh, let's say black. So what I'm going to do right now is to actually call our plot function from matplotlib. So I'm just going to say df underscore geo, which is our object dot plot and let's go and pass in our axes and let's set the color to uh, let's say black so basically this is going to create uh, points on our map so let's go ahead and set a title and let's just say plt dot title and I'll just call that uh, West African countries So let's just go ahead and run that. So you can see we have this uh, map that says West African countries and we have these black points to represent those uh, countries. If we go ahead and set this to say white and run that, we're gonna have these white uh, points that represents the uh, country. So uh, I'll just set this back to black because I feel it's uh, kind of like better looking. So what we can do if we want to improve the uh, size or the output of this map. Let's go ahead and just do this. So let's go ahead and just customize this map a bit so it can actually be better and we make it larger and then we see how we can even export that map. So I'm just going to create a figure, an object called figure. I'll just call in matplotlib dot pyplot dot configure which is cfg so i'm going to set our size so i'm just going to say fig dot set size underscore inch inches i'm going to set this to a nine by six which is simply a width and height of nine by six fig six i'm going to save my image 
So I'm going to say fig.save pick. And let's just call that uh, map plot dot, let's say PNG. And I'll set the resolution to, let's say, uh, DPI to 200 DPI. And I'm going to do my PLT dot show so I can show that plot. Let's get rid of this extra space and let's run it. So it says, uh, I think it's general config, not CGF. So I think this should be GCF. Sorry about that, guys. So I'll just run that again. And now you can see our config file works because we actually have a larger uh, map that has this value, which is uh, super great. Now, if we wanted to see this in a choropleth map, let's just quickly go ahead and map that. Let's create a figure called F, an object called F. And what I'll do first is import Plotly. Okay, we've done that, Plotly Express SPX. And let's get down here. So I'm simply gonna say px dot choropleth. And we'll pass in our data frame. We'll also pass in our location mode. And we'll set that to country names. So next we'll pass in our locations. It's gonna be equal to our DF, our data frame, and we'll pass in the countries. So next let's pass in the scope. It's gonna be Africa. And let's pass in the color. And we'll pass in the country uh, data frame for our color. And finally, let's show our figure. So let's just say f.show. And let's run this. So it says there's a key error. So it means I must have typed a key wrongly. So let's go ahead and see what that uh, error is. So it says uh, key error countries. So let's go ahead and see that. So our location is actually country, not country. So let's go ahead and see what that problem is. So we have country names, our locations is our DF country. So uh, there's actually an issue when we try to get the name of this data frame and I'll go ahead and show you uh, why. Because it's not seeing this uh, name and we know clearly that we actually have a uh, country data frame right here. So to do that, let's go ahead and fix our data frame because sometimes our CSV file comes with some white spaces. So let's go ahead and see how we could fix that. So right here where we're reading our CSV, let's go ahead and add another argument to get rid of our separators. So I'm just gonna say SEP is gonna be equal to our raw string. And within our raw string, let's go ahead and take the S. So all spaces. And let's also get rid of all these spaces all and then we're going to be using our engine which is python so we're going to set it to python so let's get run that cell and let's run this doesn't change anything let's run this cell too and run this so let's get down there and see what the problem is so now that we've done that, we actually have uh, fixed our CSV file and it can actually get the uh, country uh, locations from that data frame. So the reason why, again, is because of how this is set up. It's seen some white space and it's reading that space sometimes because it's a CSV file. Sometimes that error happens, but that's how you can get rid of the white space in your CSV file. So I'll just go ahead and save that. And now we can see we have these countries based on that location, but this is just by the way. So that's how you can take some points from a data frame and convert them into a
geometry that GeoPandas can understand and then plot that using matplotlib's built-in plot functionality. Thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next lesson.